so here I am today. It's a rainy day here in Oregon on the Centralia College campus. And today the students here have set up a Cemetery of Innocence. I want to talk to you a little bit about the effectiveness of Cemetery of Innocence and how to run one on your campus. So here the students have set up their Cemetery of Innocence. There are 330 flags representing the 3,300 children who will die today. Uh, they've spaced them out across the one of the major walkways on campus so people can see, so they're walking along campus, they can't avoid it. On the corners of the display and along the sides, they've put a sign so that people know what the flags represent, so even if they don't get over to talk to them, when they stop, they understand what the flags represent. So these are the little cards that the students are passing out to tell people about their Cemetery of Innocence. On one side it has the facts about the display, um, and then on the other side it has information about their club meeting time, so they can do a little recruiting for the club at the same time. Now the great thing is when you pass these out, they're just asking people, did you get one? And people take them, and even if they can't have a conversation because they're busy and on their way to class, they now know what the flags on the campus So stand. the students also set up a table to watch their display and make sure it doesn't get torn down. You don't want to leave your Cemetery of Innocence unattended for a number of reasons. One is people can walk by and destroy it very easily. The second reason is you want to be there to answer questions. Part of the reason that you do a display on campus is to start dialogue, to offer resources, to engage people, to recruit people, uh, to change the culture and the best way to do that is personally and one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so here we have the secretary of the club and she's manning the table uh, while other club members are out passing out the little signs. So this, this is Abby. She's the secretary of the club and she's out here this morning. And Abby, it's a rainy day. Your club still chose to do a Cemetery of Innocence. You got a cool awning so people could stand under it. Why do you still encourage clubs to do this event even on a rainy day? Because it's encouraging to people. People are telling us that they're appreciating us with all the diligence with our club and how we're devoted with getting the word out. So, so you've already had people comment about the fact that like, wow, you guys are out here in the rain. Yes. So it makes them realize that you're dedicated, passionate, you believe in this. Yes. Absolutely. So your club decided to do this event on campus. What are your hopes for this? I event? hope that people will be aware of how many babies are dying every day and that there is something else that can happen and just raise awareness of things. One of the biggest reasons that you want to actually be out at your display and there, besides just monitoring to make sure that nobody vandalizes, is that you can actually have conversations with people. I mean, today, why would you go to all the trouble to set up this display on campus, which is going to make your entire campus actually dialogue about abortion and not have conversations? So we have people stationed at the corners of the display to talk to people. And as people are walking by, they can dialogue and engage and actually change minds. So this is Joanna and she's been on the corners of the display, dialoguing with people, talking to them, passing out uh, the little Students for Life information card. And I just wanted to ask her, what has the response been? Um, it's been really neat. I'm, I've been amazed at how many people are willing to just stop and talk and how, how open they are to listen and ask questions and it's been really cool. Even people that disagree um, have been really nice to talk to. Uh -huh. There's been a few people that like, they'll be like, oh I don't want anything and they just keep walking, but that's the worst response we've gotten. And uh -huh. the people that are willing to talk are really encouraging. Really encouraging. So do you feel like you've been able to like change the minds or make people think about it in a new way? Definitely. Definitely. Um, I haven't had anybody say, oh, you changed my mind, but a lot of people have said, oh, I never thought about that, and you definitely gave me some things to think about. Uh -huh. So to the student who is thinking about doing a Cemetery of Innocence or some display on campus but is afraid to talk to people about their display, what do you have to say? It's not as scary as you might think. <laughs> um, and. People, people, if, if you're willing to just step out there and logically reason through stuff, people are willing to think, and, and it's, not, it's not so bad. Awesome. Well, thanks for being courageous. <laughs>